Thanks for tuning in, everybody. This is the second in a series of videos on aluminum wire harness assemblies. And today, we're gonna to talk about repair. How do we connect a pigtail to the aluminum harness assembly? First of all, can you splice copper to aluminum? Absolutely. However, you have to be aware of a few factors. Uh, dissimilar metal corrosion. These two pieces, the aluminum and copper, cannot come in contact with each other. The other thing that you want to make sure of is never to use solder. If you solder, you're making that physical connection between the aluminum and the copper, and that's going to rapidly cause your splice to corrode. So what we're going to do is replace the spool of copper with a mechanical splice. Uh, it's a two-piece, comes with a barrel and weatherproofing. So what we want to do is take the aluminum wire and insert it into the barrel and you'll notice there's a small inspection hole. And this inspection hole is going to allow you to see the penetration of the wire lead and it's also going to let you know that you're not making contact between the copper and the aluminum. So we're just going to do a, a quick uh, crimp here, a, uh, a dimple just to hold the wire in place and then we're going to insert our copper lead. Now aluminum is always one gauge larger than copper. So we'd like for the purpose of installation uh, to and uh, the ability to fill the barrel to use the same gauged copper wire as we do the aluminum. So we're going to insert our copper lead and we're going to make sure that we have again adequate penetration but we want to make sure that these two materials, not even a single strand, uh, is making contact with each other. So we're going to put a small dimple in the other side as well. Another thing that you want to remember is not to put solder into that inspection hole because what you're doing is uh, creating that mechanical bridge between the copper and the aluminum. And again, we're looking at the similar metal corrosion. So one final inspection make sure that we have good engagement and yet uh, don't have contact between the two materials. Uh, we're going to slide over some shrink tubing and uh, uh, shrink it down and show you the final product here. Uh, I like these splices. Uh, Aeromotive does provide these. Uh, these mini splices, look at the diameter there. It's almost equivalent to uh, the actual size of the wire. To wrap it up, let's keep in mind that aluminum and copper, they don't mix. So we shouldn't be trying to make contact with each other. Also, soldering in a situation like this is an absolute no-no. Uh, look for some further videos coming your way on aluminum wire. We still have a lot to talk about. And of course, if there's anything else that you're interested in, please go to our website at aeromotive.us for further training videos. Thank you and have a safe day.